Welcome to another video. Let's evaluate this limit without using L'Hopital's rule. It's going to be easy and hard depending on what you know. So, now typically when you have something like this, I would tell you because this is finite, plug in 32 immediately. But obviously when you plug in 32, the fifth root of 32 is 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0 on top and 32 minus 32 is 0 on top, uh, under. So you have 0 over 0 and we cannot use L'Hopital's rule, so we have to do algebra. Now, the algebra is where it gets tricky because there's something you will need to know unless you have another way. If we try to multiply the top by the conjugate, it's not going to get rid of the fifth root sign. So we have to keep multiplying and multiplying. You have to do it five times before you can ultimately get that. So that's one option which I think works, which at the end you will see was what actually happens. But I have another way to do this. Binomial expansion. Let's get into the video. Now, instead of doing by no, of doing multiplying by the conjugate um, four times, I think yes. Why don't we replace this weird square root, uh, fifth root with um, something different? Watch this. If I want to get rid of this fifth root, I can write this as something raised to power five, so that whatever is here is not a major problem. So I can do something like this. I can say let u to the fifth power be equal to x so that as x goes to 32 what will u go to? u will go to 2 that's very obvious as x approaches 32 u is approaching 2 because 2 to the fifth is going to be 32 so we can rewrite this whole limit as the limit as u approaches 2 instead of x going to 32 and on top here I'm going to have the fifth root of u to the fifth minus 2 over instead of writing x I'm going to write u to the fifth minus 32 okay so you ask how does this help me well I know that this fifth root will cancel this so I have this to be equal to the limit as x goes to 2 of u minus 2 over down here I have u to the fifth and this I can write as 2 to the fifth okay so clearly I know that when I factor the bottom I'm going to have u minus 2 as one of my factors and it's going to take care of this u minus 2 on top so the 0 over 0 situation will be taken care of the only problem is I need to know how to expand u to the fifth minus 2 to the fifth and I want to give you a general rule. Just remember this, that if you have, um, let's do x and y, x to the fifth minus y to the fifth. Your answer is basically x minus y. This is binomial expansion factored out on one side. But I don't want to go into that detail. But this is what you have, x minus y. Then whatever else you have left is going to be a bunch of pluses, no more minus, okay? I want you to think of the difference of two cubes. It's the same principle. Even if this was seven, nine, it doesn't matter what the numbers are. You're going to have, you no, know, if they were not minus, if they were um, odd numbers. Okay, x to the fifth minus y to the fifth. It is x minus y multiplied by, you ap apply the binomial expansion. You're going to have, this is already x, so you have x to the fourth plus. The next time you're going to have x to the third. But now you're going to introduce the other term, you're going to have y plus x to the second, you're going to have y squared. So at every point, the sum of the powers must be 4. So what's left? We have plus x, then you have y cubed, and then you have y to the fourth. So you see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. You'll always have 5 terms in the other one. So I can go here and rewrite this to be equal to the limit as x goes to as u, not x. Hey, it's u. What's going on? Hey, it was supposed to be u. The limit as u, <laughs> I'm so used to x, as u goes to 2 of the top is u minus 2 and the bottom is now going to be u minus 2 multiplied by this. So look, 
my u is being replaced by, my x is being replaced by u, so I'm going to have u to the fourth, and this is going to be u to the third times y, but y in this case is 2, so it's going to be 2 times u cubed, so it's going to be plus 2u cubed, plus, the next one is going to be 2 squared, okay, it's going to be 2 squared, which is 4u to the second, plus 8u plus 16. So that's what this, implica this will imply when we apply it to this. And this is equal to the limit as u approaches 2. This is going to cancel. This is going to cancel this. So that what we have left is just 1 over um, u to the 4th plus 2u cubed plus 4u squared plus 8u plus 16. Now we can take the limit since we've gotten rid of the problem. And now we have 1 over u to the 4th is going to be 2 to the 4th plus 2 times 8 plus 4 times, this is going to be 4 plus 8 times 2 plus 16. You will notice that every single term is 16. So this is going to be 1 over 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, which is 1 over 80. That is the limit. And if you check this using L'Hopital's rule, that's what you're going to get evaluating it as x approaches 32. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.